Good morning guys to my first actual full day out in Tel Aviv and I actually barely got no sleep last night because I'm still jet lag. It was I think 4 a.m. when I woke up which is like 8 a.m. Southeast Asia time but I've been editing all morning and I actually have the first Tel Aviv vlog out from yesterday when we made it out to Tel Aviv and we checked out some spots. So I haven't eaten all morning. The main reason why I'm heading on a Tel Aviv food tour today out at Abraham Hostel. So Abraham actually has a tour company called Abraham Tours and they set me up with an 11 a.m. tour and right now it's like 10.45 and I'm really hungry. You could probably see that I'm shaking. I also had a cup of coffee so that's bad news bears. But I'm about to get ready, get out of my room, get on this tour because I'm super, super stoked to check out some of the best foods out here in Tel Aviv and in Israel. So uh, let's get out of here, grab the bag and let's get going. <laughs> Alright, so we found our tour guide in the lobby and I'm going to introduce our entire group right now. What's your name? Yoni. Yoni? Christina. Christina. Hi, I'm Oli. Emily. Lisa. Lisa. Sarah. Sarah. Tanya. Adian. Sam. Nice to meet you guys. You guys ready to eat? Good. Yes. Alright. So where are we going today? We're going to the Yemenite quarter. It's the 15 minutes walk away from here. It's my, it's the neighborhood that I live in. Okay. I'm going to introduce you some traditional food. I'm going to take you to eat. Like real Israeli stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, and let's have fun. Let's do it. I'm so hungry right now. My hand is like shaking. They told me not to eat, so I haven't eaten in like two and a half weeks. Uh oh. I don't like where we're going with this. You will eat and you will drink. You will eat that. And we'll drink. <laughs> Arak is a beverage. Arak used to drink before we eat. That opens up your appetite. So oh, yeah. cheers to you. Cheers. 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 It's like a licorice type grapefruit, but it's pretty good actually. I could probably drink like eight shots tonight. Alright guys, so we made it to the Yemenite vineyards. I am already sweating through my shirt. And we passed a neighborhood that has a very European-esque architecture design all over the buildings. Absolutely beautiful. And it's about a 20 minute walk from the hostel. And we're at Pepo's, we're at our first stop. I'm really, really hungry. And what we're eating is called? Boekas, that's what it's called. And it's a very, very light traditional meal. Um, it's kind of like bread. Uh, it looks really, really light, but I'm really, really hungry. And there's so many different sauces to it. There's like spicy sauce, non-spicy sauce. You eat it with pickles. And this area is called Yemenite Vineyards because 1889, I think that's what it was, it was an entire vineyard in this entire area. And now it was taken over. And uh, it's a lot of restaurants, a lot of cute, cute residential areas. So I'm going to dive right in and try this. What's the good sauce? Okay, one. <laughs> What's the good Take sauce? The spicy one. The spicy one? Okay. Yeah, put some spicy one and dip it in. So this is going to be my first bite. Uh, I got a little spicy sauce on it. It's not bad. There's definitely some cheese in it. Um, it's really flaky. It's really crusty. It's really, really good. Again, I'm not a food vlogger, but I'm going to try this out for my first time. Um, yeah, it's really light. I like this. What do you guys think? Pretty good? Perfect. Can you guys describe it better than me? Really good. Really good. <laughs> this is the first dish. This is really, really good. They already finished like most of it, so I gotta get eating before we get to the next spot. walked through a beautiful, super artsy neighborhood. We were even invited by the artist into his house to check out his gallery, and it was absolutely beautiful. And uh, now we made it to Shlomo and Dohan, I think that's what it's called, and we're gonna have some hummus and shakshika. We attempt to do something different with hummus here in Israel. You cross into a very, very big wall of Shakaza. They say always every revolution started with a crazy man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, people usually say that the pita is the container, and I'm saying that the hummus is the perfect container and what I'm doing is creating dishes on top of hummus which is presented not, not as the main actor uh, but uh, as, a, as a container. A little bit about the dishes, this one is hummus with shakshuka, you know what shakshuka is? It's a poached egg and a tomato sauce. On top you have green tahini and parsley. This one is hummus with a chopped bowl of green falafel. Tahini, amba, which is the yellow stuff. It's like Iraqi Indian mango chutney with a strong flavor of fenugreek. This one is called the Balkan hummus. It's hummus with roasted eggplants, uh, pickled onions with sumac. Sumac is this purple spice here. Tastes almost like uh, raspberry. 
uh, Kalamata olives, parsley and olive oil. There is a whole ceremony of how to eat hummus in Israel. People usually say that you take a bite of the pita like this and then you do a round movement uh, in order to get the hummus on your pita. In free translation from Hebrew it's called to sweep. I think the ceremony is very overrated so f*** the ceremony, okay? <laughs> So my, my type of hummus, you take the spoon, you dig in, you lift it up and you'll be okay. So I got the shikshuka one and I did it the style that he said is best. I put it on the spoon. Oh my god, I love hummus too. Yeah? No. Mm. This is so good. This is as good as yesterday, but maybe better. This is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna get some more. So this is the second one. This is kind of like curry sauce he was saying. There's some like mango in it and uh, let's try this one. Mmm. Mmm. I still like the Shepchuko one, the first one, the best. This is so good though. You love the eggplant one? I love the eggplant I'm one. I'm sorry. You should, you should try it. Okay. Give it a try. Alright, fine. Really I gotta try it. I'm in Israel once. Cheers to eggplant. This is good. I told you. <laughs> this it's is really good. This is really good. They're all good. Not gonna lie. This is what Israel does to you. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> So that was arguably the best, first best or second best hummus I've ever had compared to maybe yesterday, first or second. And we had a dessert right after that called Malibi. And it's kind of like a um, flan type material, jello type, with some like red sauce on it. And it was really, really good. Now we're off to the next spot and the last two spots are going to be desserts. Desserts, right? Desserts, desserts. I love desserts. Lots of sugar. <laughs> I'm a sweet tooth. Thank you for saying that. Oh my gosh, this is dessert. Don't even know what it is, but it looks good. What is it? Baklava. Baklava. Yes. Okay. It's That's a filo dough. Sugar syrup and pistachios. Sugar Basically. syrup and pistachios. Sugar syrup with lemon, it tastes a bit like honey. It tastes like honey, okay. And it started chopping pistachios. I'm like getting antsy. <laughs> it's a little sticky. Um, it's got some green stuff on it, but I like green. And uh, let's try it. Green stuff is pistachios. Pistachios. Green stuff is pistachios. This is really good. This is really, really good. It tastes really sweet. You can tell, there's like, you taste the flavor of the breading, I guess. Um, there's like some type of syrup at the bottom too. And the pistachio is really, really good. How is it? So good. Really good? Really good. You can, be, you can be honest. Yeah, it was really good, <laughs> but kind of sweet. Kind of sweet, yeah. yeah. Mm, so much food! <laughs> Okay, my English is not perfect, I'm sorry now, but I try, okay? It's okay. Wow. So this is halva, and it's like really, really sweet. Tell me what um, sesame, sugars, and okay. you need more? I still have some of the other dessert in my mouth right now I'm chewing on, because it was like 10 feet from here, but... Mm. It's really, really sweet. It's pretty good. It's good. <laughs> Tell me what you feel. I feel... She said cinnamon. One. Cinnamon. You yeah. have nine spices more inside. That's all I feel, cinnamon. <laughs> Only cinnamon. <laughs> you need one more. I know. Okay. Chocolate? <laughs> no. Great. Let's see what I feel. <laughs> Two. Peanut butter. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm wrong. She said cardamom and she said cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. Two. Car uh, caramel. No. Pepper. Pepper. Uh, really? I guess. English pepper. <laughs> I totally just started saying stuff. <laughs> Tabasco sauce? No. Uh, oregano? No. Yeah. Saffron. Zac Efron? Saffron. Oh, I thought he said Zac Efron. <laughs> Paprika. Paprika. Ginger. Ginger. Lemon sauce, he said. Zipol. I don't even know what that is. Gloves? Gloves? There's gloves in it? Gloves. Muscat? Yes. Muscat? I don't even know what that is. Garlic. <laughs> and the most dominant cinnamon, and it's really, really sweet. That's new flavor. I'd say it's pretty good, so we're gonna eat a little bit more of this, and we're gonna get out of here. That's you must taste. This is whiskey. It's the best. The best. Cheers. Oh! Oh, I could taste the whiskey. If you, will you get drunk if you drink too much of this? Or yes, if you eat too much, you... If you eat too much, you're gonna get hammered, so... Mm, it's good though, this is my style of getting drunk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good day, you Enjoy. too. Thank you, Yanni. Thank you. Take care. 
Take care, guys. See guys. We'll see you guys around. Yeah. See you around. Yeah. All right, guys. It was an incredible day. I'm really, really stuffed, especially from the desserts. I would highly recommend a food tour, specifically out here in Tel Aviv. Go through Abraham Tours. I think that's what it's called. I'll actually put the link below so you guys can book directly through them. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my first food vlog ever. I noticed I got a lot of comments uh, in one of my previous videos asking for food videos, asking for specifically food videos when I get out to Thailand. So uh, comment down below on how I did in regards to this food vlog. And uh, maybe I'll be posting some more videos on food. But these are some of the best foods out in Israel. And I would highly recommend the tour. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys smash that like button and comment down below again uh, on what I should eat or what I should try because I still have another like 10 days out here in Israel. And make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified of the next Israel videos. Other than that, I'm actually going to walk to the beach right now, shoot the drone up, relax for the rest of the day, and uh, call it a day. But I hope you guys enjoyed my first food vlog and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys.